Hi, my name is Luke Miner, and I'm here with... Mrs. Kernitty. How long have you been teaching chemistry? I've taught chemistry for approximately 18 years. I haven't spent all of that time in high school. I taught five years right out of college and then took a little bit of a break and taught some co classes in college, and then I've come back to high school here at Wheeling Central for the last eight years. What's been your favorite mole ever created by a student? That is a hard question to answer because with, you know, 18 years of experience, there's been a lot of moles that have come through the classroom on mole day. Uh, but I have a few that sort of stand out as uh, pretty unique. Um, a few years ago, I had a student who did the washing machine. And the, the way they craft it and create it also lends to it being my favorite. Um, I had the Victoria's Secret supermodel who had angel wings, and it was very creative. Do you have a certain teaching philosophy? My philosophy with teaching is that you have to keep it fresh. Uh, in the classroom, students can't come every day knowing exactly what's going to happen. So I've always tried to incorporate in my classes a mixture of different things. Sometimes it's direct instruction. Sometimes it's hands-on experiments in the lab. Sometimes it's a demonstration where I'm doing something and the students are watching and observing. Uh, sometimes it's collaborative work. But um, each day I try to make it different. Do you have any hobbies outside of teaching? I actually do have some hobbies outside of teaching. Um, I enjoy reading, actually. I don't always have a lot of time to read, but I do enjoy that. Have you ever had any major lab accidents? Thankfully, I have not had any major lab accidents with students. So, um, And that's a huge goal every time you go into the lab because a lot of different things can happen. I have had a few mishaps of my own in you know, just college or... Um, in my education classes where, you know, I've accidentally sp spilled or not, it wasn't a huge spill, but I've gotten a strong acid on my skin. And, you know, you hear all the warnings that it's going to burn your skin. And I can tell you it does burn your skin. 